Hey, what's up guys? It is Slick or Slick Moff here back again with another video. And today is the big day. It is uh, the final day of the E3 press conferences. Well, tomorrow's Nintendo, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so here's the deal. What are my thoughts? What are my views on what games we're going to see from WB? And I'm talking about the games that, you know, I really want on this channel, and I've been talking about for a while, you know, Batman or Superman, namely, um, or some other DC surprise that we don't even know about. I think that the odds are are um, not the best, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, to be 100% perfectly honest with you, I would put place the odds at under 50%. As things have gotten closer to the conference, my hope has reduced a little bit. With that being said, though, I still think there's a chance. Um, like I've said many times, in 2016, Batman Arkham VR was a complete surprise to everybody. Nobody was expecting it. Rocksteady came out and, you know, revealed they were working on this Batman game nobody knew about. So even though in retrospect, Batman Arkham VR was nothing to get excited about because the game wasn't that good and it was only an hour long. Still, they managed to keep it a surprise and we were totally shocked with the new Batman game. You know, Mark Hamill's Joker was voicing the trailer and everything. Nobody knew about it at all. Okay, so that's something to note. That all hope is not lost until the conference is over. Then all hope is lost, okay, because it's not going to be at the Nintendo conference. But in any case, what can we realistically expect from the conference? You know, I don't know. I really don't. WB Montreal and Rock City, I both would say, are due for a reveal. However, we haven't necessarily seen a lot of inclination from either studio that they're going to be presenting something. But then again, we didn't in 2016 when Rock said he dropped that trailer, that bombshell trailer on us. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. I really don't. We're just going to have to wait and see. It's, it's later today. There's not necessarily a point in me speculating or hypothesizing. I really, really would like to see a Batman reveal. Just because I've been covering the game for so long and I've seen some of the early concept art of the game and like that kind of thing, I have a I have a special affinity to the game. Now, I would rather see a Superman game than a Batman game revealed. Yes, you know, Rock City Superman, that would be great. But I really want to see what that Batman game is about and what it looks like today. Um, so that's my number one, Batman from WB Montreal. My number two would be Rock City Superman and number three would be whatever surprise they have for us. Um... Like I said, I'm not necessarily expecting it, though. I'm going to place my uh, my over-under odds under 50%. But it's still possible. I'm not saying that it's like a shot in the dark. It's better than that, but, you know, I'm not banking on it. I'm not going to necessarily um, expect it. You know, I, I've done that in the past, and it came back, back to bite me, you know. Um, so what if the games don't get revealed? If the games don't get revealed, I'm just going to move on from covering the games for a while, um, you know, and move on to Spidey PS4 full time, which comes out in September. Um, you know, hopefully WB is going to come out and announce that their Batman game is coming out late 2018, but we're just going to, you know, see. If not, then, you know, there, there's not any point in hyping up their game for, for years like I've done um, when they're not going to announce it or, or make any substantial progress with it. You know, it, I just view it as I'm giving them free advertising. They're not doing anything to keep their fan base excited. Really, myself and Salvage and other YouTubers are the ones doing that for them, giving them free promo, free marketing, um, which I'm not really interested in doing anymore if they're not, like, interested in investing in us in the game. So people have been saying that I'm entitled. I'm really not. I'm just saying that, like... If they're not going to announce their game and they're not going to address us for years on end, the fans of their DC games, then I'm done investing in them. In other words, if they're not investing in us, I'm not going to invest in them. My time, my effort, my mental energy in them. That's all. Um, you know, if there's a big leak that comes out, like the concept art or, you know, the box art gets leaked from GameStop, I'll cover that, of course. But, you know, in terms of really being... Um, covering the game regularly like I've been doing the past month leading up to E3. I won't be doing that. Uh, but Spider-Man PS4, I'm very, very excited for. I cannot wait to see the gameplay for that. So even if we don't get anything DC-related, we still have Spider-Man PS4. But of course, we really want to hope for Batman or Superman at the conference. Like I said, my over-under odds are under 50%, but oh, I, I really would love to see them come out with a big surprise here at E3. It would just be amazing. We know that there's you know additional titles. WB has been unveiling that they're going to surprise us with 
um, several of them, in fact, because Amazon listings, you know, have indicated as such. Um, so you never know. I mean, you really, really do never know. And I would love, 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 love a Batman reveal or Superman. Um, I really hope they have something in store for us. I mean, they know for however long in the past several years how much we've been asking for these games. Um, let's just hope that they've been listening. And, um, you know, Rock City can come out and stun us. Um, I think that they could do it. I think they really could. I think WB Montreal really could do it. I'm not betting money on it, but I think that it could happen. And I really, really hope that they do. Um, you know, I just really hope that they do. I would, I would absolutely love it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, let me know your thoughts on what we're going to be seeing later today. And um, this is going to be my last video until an update video after the conference, I do believe. I uploaded two videos yesterday and one this morning. I'll link all three of them in the description below in case you missed them. And I will see you guys later tonight.